first thing we need to do is install the Frigade add-on. For the repository, I'll leave a link in the description. Next, we're going to add the GoToRTC add-on. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for this repo. Now we need to add the RTSP to WebRTC integration, which is going to work in conjunction with the GoToRTC add-on. The URL you use here can either be localhost or the Home Assistant IP address, followed by port 1984. We're going to need a file editing tool. For this, I'll be using Visual Studio add-on. So this next step will add default cameras for GoToRTC to look at whenever it's turned on. This just saves having to add cameras in every time we want to use them. Frigate will also need its own config file. Note that the file name is frigate.yml rather than frigate.yaml. Both of these files I'll have in the description below. You'll need to replace the MQTT host with your own MQTT host, as well as the username and password. The RTSP URL will be your Home Assistant IP address followed by port 8554, then the camera name will be the camera name you use in the GoToRTC config file. For the zones and masks, I've just commented these out for now. I'll add them in once the gate is up and running. When you're done saving the two config files, come over to the developer tools and restart Home Assistant. When Home Assistant is back online, it's a good idea just to restart both Frigate and GoToRTC add-ons, just to make sure they've picked up the new config files. Here I'm just checking that GoToRTC has found the cameras that we've added and that the audio is also working. To be able to use Frigate cameras and sensors, you'll need the Frigate custom integration found in Hacks.
you might need to use a different URL here, but the default one should hopefully work for you. Here you'll have access to the camera feeds with audio enabled, as well as some motion sensors. Just to finish off, I'm going to set up a motion mask and zone. You'll first need to create a template within the Frigate add-on. Then you just need to copy and paste the template into the Frigate config file. After saving, you don't need to restart Home Assistant, you just need to restart the Forget add-on. To check the zone and masks were implemented correctly, go to the same camera debug page and toggle on the mask and zone. Here I'm just checking that audio is captured on the motion events created within Frigate. From here you can send push notifications to your phone via Home Assistant notifications, Telegram or whatever platform you plan on using. 